who is Queen Victoria Rose? What's up, y'all, and welcome to the Queen Victoria Rose channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Today, this video is pretty much to talk about me. Like I asked you guys on the Instagram poll, do you want a QA? and a And here's your Q&A. Okay, so the first question is, who is Queen Victoria Rose? Um, so pretty much I am who I am. <laughs> um... I am caring, outgoing, a motivational speaker, an entrepreneur. It's just the list goes on and on and on about me. And um, I definitely feel that, you know, one thing about me is I love to give back. I love to be in the community as much as possible. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that's a little bit about me, you know. But, of course, we're going to build this relationship. So, we're going to get to know each other more with blogs and, like, so much more to come. Like, that is really my plan. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Like, I'm really giving, like, some thank you next vibes, right? What is your zodiac sign? I am a... Virgo! I have a love and hate relationship with Bob being a Virgo, but yes, I am a Virgo. We are amazing if you allow us to be amazing. I always hear, you know, people like, oh my God, I would never date a Virgo again, or I hate Virgos. But like, honestly, if you get to know us, we're kind of like a mystery, you know, like it takes time to get to know us. It's not intentional, but we just always keep our guard up. But once you get to know us, we ride with you until the wheels fall off. Even, like, sometimes I'm very detailed, but I think that will work in a relationship because, like, you really pay attention to someone. Or not even a relationship, but friendships too, you know? So, I am a Virgo, so don't hate. Next question, how do I feel about relationships? That's a good one too. Um, How I feel about relationships? I feel like love is love, and if you love that person or if you care about that person, be with them. Like, don't let social media stop you from feeling like you can't be with that person or, you know, you're looking for a relationship that you see on social media. Like, if you're happy and you want to be with that person, go for it. Like, what's stopping you? You know, if you care about them, go. Um, Where did I graduate? I went to Johnson C. Smith University. It's in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I always tell people, you know, if you've never been to Charlotte, I really think you should go. Um, Charlotte, I had so much fun. My college years were amazing. I really wonder if I should do like a story time. Like I got, <laughs> I have many, but I really thinking about story time. So comment down below if you think I should do a story time. Cause that would be hilarious. Um, what do you look for in a man? Um, I would have to say that he needs to be patient, understanding, um, he needs to be caring, you know, like he needs to care about his family. I feel like that's so important. Like the old people say, you know, they say if if he treats his family bad, he might treat you bad, you know? So that's important. And also to communication, like you want to have a guy that who can communicate with you. Like I'm a communicator. Like if I feel a certain way, I should be able to talk to you about it and not feel like, mm, like should I talk to him? Because he should be like your best friend. And that's one thing like, like, if he doesn't have, like, best friend qualities or you feel like you can't talk to him, then leave him alone. <laughs> How long should it take a woman to do her makeup? You can tell a guy asked me that. Um, It usually takes me an hour. But ladies, I mean, I could be wrong. It might take some of y'all, like, 30, 45 minutes. But I know for me, I, I've, so I've heard that I'm slow, you know, like I take a long time to get dressed. So I've heard, but yeah, that's about 30, 45 minutes on the average. Um, and ladies, let me know down below if I'm like doing too much or is that accurate? Because I think it's like 30, 45 minutes. And plus two fellas, like you want to look, you know, you want your girl to look good for you. Like, you know, when they're just going out looking busted, we can't have that. You know, she needs to be Flying and cute. <laughs> okay. Why did you start your business? Ooh, I like that one. Now you talk in my language when you talk about business. 
Um, the reason why I started my business, it was just simply because I felt like, you know, working a nine to five, it's cool and all, but it's nothing like being your own boss. Nobody's telling you what to do. Like you can be creative as you want. You can be as less as creative as you want. Like you can have a team of people that you care about on your team. Like you can really put your emphasis on what you want and how you see your brand. So, you know, working for someone, I realized that I wanted to step out and really build my brand and who is Queen Victoria Rose. So that's why I worked so hard to get where I am now. And also too, like just also putting like my money into the stock market and seeing all these different corporations. And it really got me into business, like just the stock market, like just researching about business, how it is to be an entrepreneur, what does it take and like, what's the risk? So it's just like, I really took a lot into it. And I really tell people, you know, like before you decide, research. And also to just like, don't quit up. Like, just don't quit your job. Like, just don't do that. Just like, make sure that you see some startup money. And honestly, it takes a lot. Just invest in yourself. What is more to come from your line? Um, I have Edge Control coming out very soon. I want to really like surprise you guys. So I'm gonna keep it a little secret for right now. But I definitely want to really surprise you guys. So next question is, are you going to be consistent with YouTube? Yes, I'm going to try my hardest. I plan on being consistent. I love YouTube. I just like coming on here and just being me. Okay, so next question is, why are you so low key? I get this a lot. Like, I always get, like, so, like, undercover. It's, it's like, nothing personal. I just always kind of been into, like, my own little bubble and, like, my own little world. And I'm, like, never really been a social media type person. But I am definitely trying, you know, like, I want to bring out another side of me that people don't get to see often. So I am going to work on that. And I'm going to be transparent. Um... Will you be doing collaborations? I hope so. Like, I would love to. I would love to collab with some YouTubers, some brands. Someone asked me, what is your career change? I know I talked about this in my first video that I was going to be discussing why I switched careers from what I was currently doing. Um, and I will get into that. I will make a video. I'm just waiting for the right timing because I have some things up my sleeve with that. But, um, I will definitely do a video on it and I'll let you know why I decided to do it. So, I'm gonna keep you guys on your toes a little bit about what I'm doing. And also, too, like, yes. Okay. Um, could you do a try on haul? Yes, of course. I will do one. I will do a try on haul for you guys. I love shoes. I'm a shoe fanatic. So I will definitely be doing a shoe haul very soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, also, someone said, what is your favorite shoe store? Um, I love Aldo. All my friends know. And yeah, now y'all know, my people. I love Aldo. I'm a fanatic. I love them. Uh, that's a brand I would love to work with. I love Aldo. It's awful. And I think, hmm, y'all, I got shoes coming. I totally forgot. I got shoes. Yep. Because they didn't have my size in the store. I was like, oh, order them. Yeah, I do. I got to check on that though. Because you know, the whole holiday and everything, it just throws companies off of their rocker and they don't ever send stuff on time. Will you be doing how to apply lashes video? Yes, I will do that. Also, do y'all like my lashes? Yeah, they are by Her Dynasty. Um, I love them. These are the Forever Beautiful. They're my favorite. I wish I could bet my eyes, y'all, but I really can't. But yes, they are Her Dynasty. I love them so much. Someone also asked me, any advice on getting over initial fear of starting your own business? Oh, I like that one. Um, yes, just do it. Like, that's just like the simplest answer I can give someone. It's just do it. Like, I now do it under the reasons of like why you're doing it. Make sure you do your research. Like, do everything. 
But like when you're finally at that stage and you've done it all, you've done the research, you tested out your your products, your market, like you like maybe did like some little hints like, hey, like I've got something going on. Da, da, da. Yes. Just do it. Because if not, like, you're never going to do it. Like, for me personally, I've been researching on my business and what I want to do for months. Months. Like, it's not an easy process. But when you finally reach that step of, like, you invested in yourself enough to get started, start. Launch. Like, I honestly, I've done so much research. I looked at so many videos. I paid some money for some courses and I still am because I'm like, I'm a beginning entrepreneur. Like I just started my business. It's my baby. And you have to treat it like your baby. Like you said, do you believe in God? Yes. Yes, I do. I definitely feel like with manifesting over a lot of things that happened in my life, it's only because of him and because I believed, you know, like if honestly, if you don't believe in anything else, at least believe in something like believe in like there's something bigger than you and ask and say you know what hey I want this I want that like and make sure that you're putting in the work so that you can receive it give back to people like do the right thing you know and honestly the universe it rewards you for it it will every time it, it trust me like it works it works if you just trust yourself you got to trust yourself and you got to trust God or whoever you believe in. Like, trust them. Trust yourself that it's going to happen. Believe in your heart that it's going to happen. And when you set your mind and you set your goal on what you want, it's going to happen. And also to be exact about what you want. Oh, okay. Someone asked, which brands would you eventually like to partner with? And that's kind of, I was kind of in the video saying what I wanted to do. Aldo, Boohoo, Zara, H&M, like Fenty, like you can name it all. NARS, I love them. Um, Yeah, so that's pretty much like some of the brands, even Nike. I like, honestly, I like streetwear a lot. Like I just like putting on sneakers sometimes and like, a jacket and just going about my day and putting a hat on like that's my cat like that's my usual like I'm I'm pretty lame y'all like <laughs> I'm pretty lame um oh I like this question I think this is gonna be my last question this is my last one okay how important is it to be authentic that's a great question I feel like that when you, you should want to be yourself, be you. Cause why? Cause no one can ever duplicate you, change you up, make you a different way. You are who you are. And I feel like use that to your advantage. Like for me, like I feel like being different is okay. Why not be different? You know, like, stand out. Be different from other people. You know, you always look at social media and you're like, oh, I want to be like this person. I want to be like that person. Be you. And I, I promise you, I feel like people will respect you and they'll want to be around you. And they'll say, oh, my God, like, you're such a cool person. Like, you're just yourself, you know. And be you. That's really what I can say. Be you. Like, don't, don't, don't try to copy. Just be yourself. And I promise you, people will respect that more from you. It just seems fake when you're like, oh, hey, oh, my God, it's me. You know, no, this be you. Like, if you're laid back and you like, hey, like, this me, you know, people are like, oh, okay, I, I, I feel her vibe, okay? So, yeah, so just be yourself. That's it to it. Just be you. Be you. That's it, girl. That's it, fellas. Okay. I really enjoyed this Q&A. Thank you guys so much for sending in your questions. I hope I answered them well enough for you guys. Um, thank you so much for coming back. And y'all know what to do. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.